In the last tutorial, we created a very, very simple basic WordPress template called Super Simple. In the next one, we're going to be looking at some things that we can do with menus and such. What I want you to take a look at is right now I've got a current theme and notice that I don't have anything like sidebars or menus or anything like that here. The reason why is because we don't have the required file that we need. Here's my original um, theme. Here's my next theme. It's called um, Basic Menus 2 and it pretty much looks the same and if I try and make this thing the active theme I'm gonna go ahead and activate it. You'll notice I still don't get any menus or widgets or anything like that and the reason why is because we are missing a very very simple file. I'm gonna copy that file in now. That file is called functions.php. All it needs to have is this one little simple thing and it says if function exists register sidebar then go ahead and register the sidebars and what this does is this opens up a whole new world of widgets and menus in WordPress. You'll see as soon as I refresh I get widgets and menus on the side. If I go to widgets you'll see here's my sidebar widget and I could add items to that widget if I was going to use it and then we also have menus and I've created a couple simple menus I created one called top nav and you can create a menu just by clicking on the plus and then giving it a menu name um, and then you can add different items to that just by selecting those and then adding it to the menu so I've added a services and products to the top nav and to the side menu I have the sample page and that's it for right now of course I could also do my own for context tutorial and that will be context tutorial dot com add that to the menu let me save that menu and now let's take a look at the way that this is employed in the code so if I go into my index file I've got a little bit different stuff in here I've got all the same things that I had in the file before except now I've got a bunch of different menu outputs. The first menu output that we had before was just the WP nav menu and this is just the basic nav menu um, of WordPress. After that I've got a lot of arguments that I can add to this. Certain arguments can be what exact menu to get and here I have the top nav menu and then I've got all sorts of stuff that I can add. Which menu to get, how to sort the columns, what order to put them in, um, what container class to give them. You'll see it says menu top. So pretty rich um, what you can do with these. In to order to learn more about these, what you want to do is go to the WordPress codex um, and then look up the function reference for that particular thing because you'll find a lot of different features in here. So you'll see these are all the different things that we can add to um, this particular um, menu. The defaults are pretty simple, but adding all these other things like some of the ones that they have here, menu array, project nav, all of these things um, are really helpful to know about because they can enable you to do all sorts of cool things. The next thing that we have is called the WP list pages and this list the pages in um, a very similar way as the menu but it's a little bit different. You'll notice that I can also add arguments to that once again look at the WordPress codex for more information about what you can do there. At the bottom here I have another menu and here it says the WP nav menu sidebar menu that we're also getting um, with just the WP nav menu um, function. Anyway, let's go and take a look at this. So I'm going to go to my themes and you'll notice it is installed so I can now test the site or visit it and you'll see I get a whole lot of output. Here's my different output here. I'm going to view this with um, Firebug if you're not familiar with this. But the very first part is the WP nav menu. So there's the nav menu basic output. The next one is the individual menu where I've said go ahead and get the top nav. You'll see it's pretty much the same thing. Um, because it's the first menu I guess it, it's associated that way. The next thing that we have is the top menu top and you'll notice that I have a little bit different code here. So instead of menu top nav container I have menu top because I um, set that up in the template. Um, to do that. It was one of the arguments. And here's the list pages. 
here's the one by default which it has the title called pages it does the URL with the list items inside of it and then it closes that particular list item um, the list pages tends to be uh, pretty commonly used inside sidebars and you'll find sidebars often start off with the LIs so this is what's nice to know about how to override those things with the um, variables or the the what are the arguments that are inside here for example here sort column and title uh, the list our title li um, does nothing there um, anyway what that does is that outputs the code so I've got just these so you'll notice it's not outputting the ul anymore and it's not outputting the title in here as well so knowing how to use those arguments is really effective because you can do a lot of different stuff with the different menus um, when you know them. And uh, that's pretty much the end of that. Let's go on to the next tutorial and we're going to learn a little bit more about common functions in WordPress.